GTFO with that shit. Lol. Ugh, another online rumor. Played too many May games. May 17th. Yeah, Tuesday. right? Lol. Okay, but are they hot? Alright, I contacted Kitagawa-kun about modeling for him. Still waiting for his response. Thanks! He's probably in class. I mean, so are we, but we're on our phone because, you know, we can get away with it, I guess. Really have no idea what I'm supposed to do as an art model, though. Sit there and look pretty? I mean, I don't know if there's much else to do about modeling. I mean, it depends on what the artist wants to draw. Maybe he'll want you in a seductive pose, or maybe in a more relaxed pose. Like I said, it depends on the artist and what they want to paint. Cover yourself in paints? Just, just be yourself. That's actually kind of hard. Look, you don't gotta go all out for this. You're only doing it so you can get dirt on Matarame, remember? That is true. It sounded like Kitagawa-kun wants this to be a private picture of his, though. Well, I guess I'll let you guys know when he contacts me again. Alright. It'll probably be after school or something. Hey! I got a response from Kitagawa-kun. He says he wants me to come over after school today. Perfect. He probably changed his plans immediately, just so he could get you over there. We need to find out from Kitagawa-kun if what we saw in the palace was true. Hmm. Hey, quiet down, it's the student council president! Oh, so she's talking to Mishima. I mean, that's a good lead. Come on, man. Yikes! She got hold of Mishima today? It'd suck if she noticed us. Come on, let's split up. Okay, see you later. It's true. Thank God for the invent of phones. All right. Finally landed a big target. Come on, let's get some dirt on Madarame. But man, on's late. I was thinking about some things, and I didn't notice how much time had passed. Thinking about what? Hey. Don't you think Itagawa-kun has to be protecting Madarame? Yeah. I mean, they live together, so he'd have to be aware of Madarame's true nature. Yeah, but in the same vein, they live together. I don't think he has anywhere to go. It's not like he has any parents that we've seen. And if he does, they're either out of the picture or possibly dead. So, where's he gonna go? The only reason I can think for him doing that is that Madarame has something on him. Or he has nowhere to go. Yeah, that's weird. Wait. But, that's why we're going on- uh, going to check it out, right? Ready to be a model? Yeah, I'm prepared. What do you mean prepared? Prepared for what? Hey. Something seems different about her to- uh, does something seem different about her to you? I mean, yeah, I guess she seems a lot more confident. Uh, yeah, I think so. Uh... You're totally right! Hmm? But I'm the same as always! Huh. Well, let's get going. We gotta talk to Yusuke. Kitagawa-kun seemed really happy when I agreed to be his model. Okay, let's Once he go. finishes drawing and gets a little friendlier, we should bring up Madarame. I thought it would just be you coming, Takamaki-san. Well, yeah, she fe felt a little awkward coming by herself, so we're just here to, you know, moral support. Wouldn't you get nervous too, if it was just the two of us? And just the two of us. Sorry, had We're here to. We're to keep an eye on you, so uh, don't try anything perverted, okay? Stop making such odd assumptions. I have absolutely no interest in her as someone of the opposite sex. Yeah, he just wants to paint her, like I huh? thought. Is there a problem? 
No, not really. What were you hoping that's what he had done? Plan? Well then, let's get started. Odd pose, but okay. I mean, I'm sure he'll tell her something different if he wants something different. All right. Sorry, he's in the zone right now. Hmm. I mean, not that I paint or anything, but I'm pretty sure he's uh, focused on his form right now. You hear her? No, I, I, he might have, but he, I think he's like in a state of zoned out mind, focused on the canvas and brush more than anything else. He is looking at her every so often, but that's just so he can familiarize herself with himself with her form. No use. This isn't what we planned. We were gonna catch him off guard and make him spill his beans, weren't we? Yeah, that's not happening while he's in the zone. How are we supposed to know this was gonna happen? Should have just, you know, known what uh, artists are like, I guess. I mean, but how could they have known, really? That's fair. Guess we just gotta wait till he's done. What an effing pain in the ass. Perhaps I should try going outside this room. Alright. Don't get caught. <laughs> Who do you think you're talking to? <laughs> Fair this enough. This is too boring, so I'm going to scout around a bit. Alright, you get a good feel for the land. Might as well while we're, you know, waiting. Hmm. It's weird how flashy that door is. Yeah, no kidding. Looks like he... Did he paint the door himself, or was that somebody else? It's locked. And is that a lock? A door with a hefty lock. What could be in there? Hmm, what indeed. Something we'll have to uh, consider. Are you done? It's no good. Wait, what? All this time and it's not good? What? I'm sorry. Am I the problem? No, not at all. It's just... Can't get in the muse. I'm having trouble staying focused today. I'm sorry, but we'll have to resume this another time. Wait, 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 wait. You're having trouble staying focused? Is it because people were watching you? I mean, that's fair, I guess. It's kind of like watch uh having someone watch over your shoulder while you're doing something it's a little distracting oh hell no how many hours do you think you made us wait look man i'm sorry we had another reason for seeing you today we needed to talk to you it's about those rumors regarding your sensei oh boy this is probably gonna go as good as it did before but okay this again that painting I saw at the exhibit. You're the one who actually painted it, right? That's... There's that hurt expression again. I knew it. Your sensei seriously messed up. He just thinks of his pupils as tools. Mm. That's why he doesn't give a damn whether he steals their work or physically beats them. Well, we don't have any, like, actual information on the physically beating him part. But the stealing is definitely happening. I'll make this clear. There's no point in hiding stuff from us. <laughs> I have no idea what you're talking about. You couldn't go against him, could you? I'm sure we can help you out, though. Stop it. It's just as you all say. We're our sensei's artwork. And he probably says that himself. Don't misunderstand me, though. I offered my ideas to him myself. As such, it can't be called plagiarism. I don't know what to say to that. Part of me wants to say, like, yeah, just like an, an abuser is uh, asking for being hit. Yeah, it's not plagiarism if you give it to him willingly to use as his own. It's giving him a gift, right? Sensei is simply suffering from artist's block right now. Of course he is. 
And, and tell me, how long has he been in Artist's Block? Has he been in that state since you got here? Before then? Has he been in Artist Block for years? Dude, still. You talk about Kun. Then why are you sticking around? Ryuji, there's no reason to get upset about it. Like I said, because he has nowhere else to go. All his other pupils ran away. Aren't you the only one left? Because, again, they probably had places to go! I mean, Matarame's a douchebag from what we know of him, clearly. But, in a sense, as just like, as a villain, Matarame has something really clever here. He has Yusuke in this trap that he can't get out of, because where is he gonna go after this? He could admit that all of, or uh, Yusuke could say that all of the art is his, that Matarame's stealing, but who's gonna believe him over the famous artist? They'll probably just believe that, you know, he wants to get one up on Matarame, and that he's being a jackass to the guy that's been nurturing him. In the public's eyes, that's how they'll see it. And even if he does do that, even if he just decides to leave, then how is he going to progress in the art world? Matarame, again, a famous artist, might say shit about him and make it impossible for him to progress. What's wrong with a pupil helping out his master? There are no victims here. Stop pushing your self-centered righteousness on me. And the other pupils. I'm supporting Sensei as his pupil. Where's the wrong in that? Don't ever come here again. If you do, I'll sue you for causing a disturbance. Hold it! We're not done talking here! Ryuji... Then you leave me with no choice. Hey! I'm reporting you to the police. I asked Hakamaki-san to be my model today, but I don't recall ever calling you two here. What the F, man? I mean, in a sense, he's being perfectly reasonable here. He didn't invite us. He has every right to call. We should just go. Ryuji, stop it! You're just antagonizing him at this point, Ryuji. Look, I like you as a person, but you gotta calm down, man. Calm down, okay? Damn it! I won't report you. But only under one condition. What's that? I want you to continue being my model, Takamaki-san. But you said that it wasn't working out today. That's because I was unconsciously being modest for your sake. Mm-hmm. However, I have nothing to worry about anymore. If you're willing to bear everything to me... Bear everything. I will put my heart and soul into creating the best nude painting ever! <laughs> you know, he has no interest in her as a... a... woman of the opposite sex, but he does want to paint her naked. You know, just for the art... of it. Not... no interest at all! What?! Nude?! Ah... Uh. To think I'd be able to create a nude painting with my most ideal model. Of course, you two won't be allowed in, and I ask that you forget about our discussion today as well. Well, I mean, yeah, I don't think I would be comfortable being naked in front of all of us, let alone just you. If I don't submit a new piece to Sensei soon, there will be some inconveniences. Mm-hmm. Nude, meaning it'll be without any clothes, right? Why are things suddenly escalating like that? <laughs> and she's blushing. I mean, for the all appropriate, she's blushing. But it, it's just so cute, the like, little pink in there. I can't help it. It's adorable. Because those are my terms. <laughs> I love how he says that as a matter of fact. Like, yeah, th those are my terms. But that's... Wait, ain't that bad? <laughs> ain't that bad? 
Since he is out during the afternoon while the art exhibit is on, so I can use this place freely, I should buy more art supplies. Hmm. Yes. Now that's the big thing here. You need more art supplies. Will you give me a second here? Uh, of course. I'm willing to wait. All right. I'll make time according to your plans, but please come before the exhibit ends. No, that's not what I mean. Why are you not listening? <laughs> Too focused on the goal here, on. Sensei will be returning home soon. We're done for today. Takamaki-san, I'll be waiting for you to contact me. No, no, no. We are not done talking here. Hey, what should we do? Uh, I, I think we should leave. We, we have to leave. Yeah, damn it. He got us good this time. Yeah. Don't give up so easily! Look, ah, uh, no one's saying you have to pose naked here. We'll just leave for now. Look, there's nothing to fight over. He's not saying you have to be nude now for the painting. There's not really much we can do here. We should just get going. Huh? Is she done being a model? But we'll uh, clue you in later, Morgana. A cat? Oh, yeah, sorry. He must have come in when we had the door open. You moron. <laughs> but we'll take the cat with us, don't you worry, Yusuke. I mean, we brought him in. He's totally out of his mind! I'm gonna have to pose nude if this keeps up! How dare that, Yusuke! The way he said it, it's not gonna be semi but full on nude. Yeah, th that's exactly what it sounds like full frontal nude up in your face. <laughs> Gonna... Well, you know, she didn't say she was gonna. Drop it! <laughs> you know, you won't have to worry about that if we make Madarame confess before the exhibit ends. It's true. But Kitagawa-kun thinks he owes his life to him. Is there a need to make Madarame confess? Then, Lady On, you're fine with bearing it all? <laughs> I am not! Yeah, no, she seems pretty no concrete on that. Kamoshida. That asshole's using Yusuke who doesn't have parents. Yeah. You're telling me we should just ignore how he's being treated horribly like the other pupils? I mean, at the same time, we're in a tricky situation here, Ryuji. I think we should act. But he's not going to have anywhere to go after this. No... It is frustrating to leave this alone, even if Kitagawa-kun is fine with it himself. I mean... Hmm. I don't know much about his school particularly, but maybe they have dorms? You can't leave it be because you've endured a lot yourself, with Kamoshida. Yeah. Anyways, we gotta go after this guy. Madarame is the kind of target we've been waiting for. It's true. Let's help Yusuke come to his senses too. Before he ends up like us. Right. We need to look into Madarame first. Yeah. There might be tons more stuff that hasn't been exposed yet, too. It may become easier for us to investigate his palace if he's preoccupied with his exhibit. That's true. He'll be more focused on that. He might be even more open up in his cognition because of the fact that there's an exhibit going on. Also, there's the thing about me modeling. Yeah, we, we can ignore that for now. Kitagawa-kun said there'd be inconveniences unless he submits a new piece. Maybe that's going to be announced soon as Madarame's next work. Oh god. Does that mean the whole country's gonna see you nude? Oh god! <laughs> I mean... Not necessarily? Oh yeah, it might not show your face. Yeah! But maybe that place will be all fogged up or something, as an artistic choice. That doesn't make me feel any better about it! I mean, people will have seen your body, but not your face, so they can't connect the two unless they actually see you naked after the art piece. We must deal with I'm trying to help. No matter what, before his exhibit ends. Let's start after school tomorrow. 
Yeah, I guess so. Oh, it'll be a pain if Miss President finds us on the rooftop again, so... Uh, where to meet up? Let's see... I guess that walkway-like place in Shibuya would work. It's near Madarama's place, too. I mean, I, I guess, but we'd be talking about shit in public. Changing our hideout periodically, huh? That's a plan I don't mind backing. Your hideout has moved from the Shujin Academy rooftop to the Shibuya Takuya building access way. Hey, uh, can I talk to you kids for a sec? Uh, sure? Huh? From the looks of things, you don't seem like the ordinary stalking fans. No, I, I, I haven't stalked anyone before. Uh... Oh, sorry. I should have been more clear. I'm actually looking for people that know Madarame's pupils. Hmm. There's this painting, Sayuri, that was supposedly stolen in the past. Oh. But there's this rumor that it was taken by one of his pupils in retaliation for being abused. Have you heard anything about that? No, this is the first time we're hearing about that. <laughs> I don't like any of these answers! Man! I mean, Ryuji doesn't know. I, I, we don't know. I don't like that we don't care about art. I see. Sorry. There's no case unless there's a victim, and if there's no proof of abuse, I can't write either. Looks like I'm back to square one. Sorry for taking your time. Uh, no problem. I'm a journalist. If you ever get any leads, mind contacting me here? Uh, sure. See you then. Yep. Yeah. See you then. I guess we should go home for today. Hmm. Whatever. I still can't forgive him! I dem uh, demanding to paint Lady on nude, and then claiming to report us to the police? Hello? Hey, it's me. Got a minute? I have some interesting news. Oh? Actually... Someone who received a change of heart contacted me for on the fan site. Said he wanted to meet with you and discuss another person who needs a change of heart. Another change of heart? You're better off talking to him in person if you want specifics. All I know is his target is a terrible person. And that might complicate things if he posted the name online. Huh. I'll have him wait for you at Shibuya Station after school. The guy's name is... Nakanahara. Hmm. Nakanahara? That's Matarame's student. I told him to approach you. Good luck. Hmm. Thanks, Mishima. Oh, another! Huh. I found something insane about Madarame. Sounds like a student of his offed himself when he couldn't speak up about Madarame stealing his work. That's unforgivable. That journalist was looking into Madarame, too. It could be real. Someone died, though. No one's talking about it. I bet it was covered up. Wonder if Kitagawa kun has heard anything. It'd be great if he could help us out. Ain't that asking a bit much? After today, he's probably gonna be on edge about us. Well, anyway, Madarame's still a piece of crap. Let's meet up tomorrow. It'll be our first time at the new hideout. It's that passageway in Shibuya, right? Got it. See you guys tomorrow. Mm. If the rumor Ryuji just spoke of is true, there have to be other victims. It's true. But with that, I think we're going to end this episode here. In the next one, we'll uh, go to the new hideout and uh, start our attack on Matarame. See you guys then.